Hi, I'm Wanda from Goes Lays Go, and today we're going to be making some stickers with our Xtool M1. Now I have Xtool Creative Space open as you can see, and I'm just going to go up to File and I come down to Import Image, and I'm going to bring in my images from my computer, and I have to bring them in one at a time. So I select the one that I want, and it'll bring it into the Creative Space, and then what I need to do is adjust the image because it's way too big so you can either drag it from the corner or I know that I'm going to make this three inches so I can go up here and where the width is I'll just type three in there and that will adjust the size of the image now I have to as I say bring in one at a time so we'll go back up to file import image and I'll bring in the next image now I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to watch every single one because it's all the same process now these images are from creative fabrica and they're a little more masculine to what we usually uh, work with but I thought they were really nice okay so I have them on the screen so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my mat into my machine okay I've taken the protective coating off and I'm just putting the mat into the base and I'm giving it a press down it's got an adhesive backing so it'll stick nicely to the bottom and then I'm putting in my blade because we're going to be doing a blade cut now I'm just going to put my sticker paper in there so that I can line things up on the sticker paper to make sure that these images will fit on it now you can see what happened when I closed the lid of the machine it took an image of the white paper the white sticker paper sitting on the mat so now I can move my images over now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight three of the images and I'll come up to the align function and I'll press horizontal align and that just gets everything nicely aligned and I'll do the same with the other three so align horizontal and there we are everything's nicely aligned there so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the images and I'm going to come up to the outline button and I'm going to leave the outline at the default setting and just press OK and you'll see that it's put an outline around each of the images. In hindsight I should have made it bigger and I wouldn't have ended up with all of these indentations around the main. However I've gone with it and that's what I'm going to do. Okay so now we need to come over to the uh, menu and we're going to select print and blade cut and then we also come down and select white sticker paper okay so now everything is set for us come down and we press the process button now on the next page it says use a printer to print the pattern on a material we press print and this is the screen that's returned but before I go selecting any of my settings what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper out of the machine and I'm going to put it into my printer and then I'm going to make my selection so I'm going to select from the rear tray and my media type is photo and I'm also going to select best quality then I press print and then the paper feeds through my printer and you can see the registration marks there there'll be one on each corner and that's so that the laser machine can recognize where the images are so I just press the paper now back into the machine, pressing it down firmly this time. And I close the lid and press next. And now the outline of the images will appear on the screen and we press framing. And then the laser head will move around and just outline where all the images are and make sure everything's in place. You can now make stop and make changes if you need to, but everything's perfectly there. So it's I'm happy so I press framing complete and now we can just go up to start and we also press start on the machine and now the laser head will move across and start cutting around our images. Now, As I say I wish I had left a little bit more um, of the outline spacing here especially around the line but otherwise um, I'm quite happy with it. So that's cut and now we'll just remove it the sheet from the machine and I'll just uh, peel off one of the images and there you are. You can use them in your projects uh, on cards or in your scrapbooking or whatever. But they really, really are lovely. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Now, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.